Can a clear seal crystal really be used to make a barrier? If they could, and we had enough, we'd be able to make as many barriers as we wanted. Then even areas that suffer frequent monster attacks could be assured safety. Yeah, but if it were possible, wouldn't something like that have happened by now? Maybe it's best not to get our hopes up about it then. Ever the realist, I see. All I'm doing is speculating on the most probable outcome. Actually, I think that's what being a realist means. Still, I'll make it this quick. This chain strategy. Child of wavering Around. darkness. We're finally here. I've seen enough sand to last me a lifetime. You're telling me. Look, there are people outside the town. Wonder if that means the curfew's been lifted. Kumor! Easy now. Haste makes waste. Indeed. We need to be cautious here and see what's going on. Hurry, hurry, all aboard. Let's all enjoy a nice little tour of the desert, shall we? But while we're gone, the children! I promise riches to anyone who can bring me the remains of that giant winged monster. Then your children will be able to live in the lap of luxury. Please, don't make us go! Stop your whining. I told you vermin to- Now get moving this instant! That's just how we were sent into the desert. Why don't they get on board themselves? Because they must know just how dangerous this desert is. Just like what happened to us. The giant winged monster must be Pharaoh! Yeah, but what's he want to capture Pharaoh so bad for? Well, what are we gonna do? We can't just stand by and watch, can we? I'll... I don't think it's a good idea to go right now. I'm afraid that idiot isn't gonna listen to anything a princess would say. Then what should we do? Carol, come here a sec. What? Yeah, I could do that. But I'd need tools. Wait, you mean... Yes, perhaps this will help. How convenient. You guys better bail me out if this goes bad. So you did pick that up? Well, it was just lying there. I thought it might be useful. Whatever. What's he doing? Now about all we can do is leave it up to the kid. What is it with these commoners? They're slower than slugs. Get aboard, damn you! Sir Kimor, everyone is aboard! Everyone except yourself. What? Me? Those who do their job slowly will never learn without punishment. Sir Kimor, please, I beg of you. I have a wife and daughter. If you'd like to stay here, I'm sure I could arrange for them to go in your place. Now be- Don't worry. That young man is very capable. Hmm. this coach Ugh. fix the blasted coach I will find out who's responsible for this I've got to hand it to the little runt
You did it. <sighs> My heart was pounding like a drum. This won't do anything more than buy us some time, though. I think it's about all we can do at the moment. We're still in the middle of our journey, after all. Yeah, Cat and Carol would start crying if we try to tackle the knights head on. How about we make ourselves scarce before people start getting too curious? I suppose we'll be on our way then. Yeah, I'm sure your kids will be so happy to see you. But there won't always be someone around to save you. Thank you again for all your help. Guess we should lay low at the inn for a while. Using your power to terrorize people. There's not a soul in the lower quarter that evil. You've gone too far this time, Qmor. Oh, you've returned safe from... Welcome back. Looks like they've still got guards watching him. You must be tired. Please enjoy your stay. That Qmor punk is really a lousy guy. Why are there so many lousy guys in the world? It's probably some kind of disease. It's gotta be the disease they call stupidity. So you do catch on. I bet you're right. I wonder why they're trying to capture Pharaoh. I don't know, but at this rate, they're going to send all of the adults in the town out into the desert. And once the adults are gone, it might be the children's turn next. No, that can't happen. If I just spoke to him as a representative of the Imperial family. Are you forgetting what happened in Heliord? Yeah, Estelle. He didn't care that you were the princess at all. <sighs> He's not the kind of person who'll reasonably listen to the words of a princess. Whatever happened to the talk of going to Nordopolica? So should we help the townspeople, or should we help ourselves? Rita? Don't you want to know what the Antelikea is thinking? If so, you should put this whole business with Qmor out of your mind for the time being. It's a strange feeling to be agreeing with you, but I think we should focus on meeting Bellius for now. Even if we captured Qmor, we wouldn't have the authority to try him for his crimes. If we can't do anything about him, we should focus on what we actually can do. If only Flynn were here. Flynn? But where is he? I wish I knew. Guess we can't kill two birds with one stone, huh? I'm sorry, Estelle. We don't mean to be ganging up on you. It disgusts me, too, to imagine that jerk snoring all nice and cozy in his bed right now. But... Rita, I understand. Lock up a guy like that, and as soon as he's released, he'll just end up doing the same thing again. Yep, you know what they say. The only cure for stupidity is death. The only cure for stupidity is death. I guess I'll have to play by my own rules. Q more. You're... no! Yuri, it's you! But what are you doing here? Someone! Someone come quick!
If you would cross swords with a noble? Very well. I accept your challenge. No! How could this? You talk too much, Qmor. The time's come for you to make your exit. Do, do you have any idea the trouble you're in for even pointing that thing at me? <laughs> Wait! I'm not the one to blame! I've just been following orders! I had no choice! Then don't hate me. Hate whoever gave you your orders. Wait! How about this? I could use my authority to pardon all of your crimes. A fresh start! I may even be able to have you reinstated as a knight. I have no shortage of money. With enough money, I'm sure I could satisfy your every wish. Go ahead! Tell me what it is you want! There's only one thing I want from you. Then what might that... No, stop! Stay back! Don't come any closer, you beast! I am Kilmore, the captain of the Imperial Knights, the man destined to become Commandant! I beg you, spare my life! Please, no! Not like this! I, I, I don't want to go like this! Tell me, how many times have you heard those very words? My people have taken control of things here. The residents of this town won't suffer any longer. That ought to put you one step closer to your next promotion. I'm heading back to the others. Yuri, we need to talk later. I know. I'll be waiting, down at the lake. Who'd have guessed this town could ever be this lively? Yes, it's a great relief to know that people here can live freely again. I'm still in shock that Flynn actually came. That was amazing timing! But Qmore might just cause more pain somewhere else. You watch. Flynn will have that guy behind bars in no time. Right, Yuri? Oh, uh, yeah. Yuri? Raven, you're gonna catch a cold. He wore himself out playing with all the children. You'd think he was 12 years old. Welcome back. <laughs> They're still going out there. I can't keep up with them. What happened to Patty? She's still dancing. I really don't get kids. I saw you having a good time, though. You're an awesome dancer, Rita. Shut up. Huh? The old man's asleep already? That was quick. Eerie? Just gonna go have a word with Flynn. I'll be back.
Why don't you have a seat? You said we needed to talk? Tell me, why did you kill Tumor? You know it's not our place to pass sentence on the crimes of others. He was to be punished in accordance with the laws. And just what laws do you think would have punished him? The same laws that failed to punish Rago? <sighs> Give me a break. Yuri, you... The laws have always been the tools of whoever happens to hold all the chips. Just saying that doesn't make it right for individuals to judge right from wrong, or for you to operate your own private court of law. If the laws are at fault, then fixing those laws comes first. It's for that very reason that I'm still with the Imperial Knights. But you can't deny that lives were saved because those bastards were put down. You'd rather tell those people, Sorry you have to die today. I promise we'll change things soon. That's not what I'm saying at all. They're out there, you know. People so bad, they'll just go on hurting others. What can the average person do but be victimized by people like that? You know it was the same way with our people in the lower quarter. Even so, Yuri, what you're doing isn't right. Do you intend to rain your justice down on all the villains of the world? That's the behavior of a common criminal. I recognize it for what it is, and I've made my choices. Murder is a crime. And even knowing that, you intend to dirty your hands. Intend to. I already have. So this is the path you've chosen. Don't make me repeat myself. I won't. But it seems you don't yet understand the full weight of your choices. As a knight, I cannot overlook your crimes. Captain, I finally found you! What is it? Our barricade of Nordopolica has been completed. Also, it appears that the hunting blades are on the move. Sir, we must go to Nordopolica quickly. <sighs> Captain! Understood. Sir. Yuri? I know you better than anyone alive, Yuri. If you insist on walking down the path of a criminal... Oh, wait! Repeat! Yuri... So, you heard it all? I'm sorry. Are you afraid of me, Estelle? If you are, you can quit right here. Join Flynn and go back to the castle. I'm not going back. Hey, 